My deepest hope is that these two intelligent, capable men have an opportunity to heal, talk this out, and reconcile. The state of the world today, we need them both. And we all actually need one another more than ever. Until then, Will and I are continuing to do what we have done for the last 28 years. And that's keep figuring out this thing called life together. Did you know that Jada Pickett Smith addressed the notorious slap incident from the 2022 Oscars on her talk show? Chris Rock has now confronted Jada about her statements. And let's just say that the drama is becoming even more juicy. How do you think he reacted to Jada's attempts to neutralize the situation? Does he think that Jada forced Will to slap him? Stay tuned to find out because we've got it all. But before we go into today's video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now let's begin. The whole world was surprised when Chris joked about how he can't wait to see Jada in G.I. Jane 2. Although we can all agree that the joke was a bit insensitive, we couldn't believe our eyes when we saw Will Smith walk onto the stage and assault Chris. Jada has since spoken up about the slap on her talk show, Red Table Talk. It was heavily inspired by the response she received from women who tuned in on the Oscars. Considering what I've been through with my own health and what happened at the Oscars, Thousands have reached out to me with their stories. I'm using this moment to give our alopecia family an opportunity to talk about what it's like to have this condition and to inform people about what alopecia actually is. After touching on the subject and spreading awareness about her condition, she ended things on a hopeful note, saying that she hopes that both Will and Chris forgive each other and let the slap be a thing of the past. My deepest hope is that these two intelligent, capable men have an opportunity to heal, talk this out, and reconcile. The state of the world today, we need them both. And we all actually need one another more than ever. Until then, Will and I are continuing to do what we have done for the last 28 years. And that's keep figuring out this thing called life together. Thank you for listening. Although it appears that Jada wants nothing more than the two men to be friends again and leave all the hatred behind, Chris doesn't really agree. A source close to him had this to say. He's not concerned with the Smiths at the moment. He's touring and he's preparing for a comedy special. Chris is just focusing on himself at present and is not interested in any drama. That's good. Chris has mentioned the slapping incident several times in his shows over the past few months. He let the audience in about the stinging sensation of the slap. He also spoke about the joke's harshness or lack thereof. Did that shit hurt? Goddamn right, he said. The mother hit me over a bull joke. The nicest joke I ever told. He also refused to talk to Will after being humiliated publicly, but he has made it clear that he was not letting the slap get to his head. He doesn't want an ounce of sympathy and definitely doesn't consider himself a victim. At one of his shows, he said, I'm not a victim, mother and then joked that he had shook that shit off and put it behind him, saying, yeah, that shit hurt, mother but I shook that shit off and went to work the next day. I don't go to the hospital for a paper cut. We all know that Will feels guilty about his actions, especially since he made a six minute long apology video to convey his regrets about how everything turned out. He said, I've reached out to Chris um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk. And when he is, he will reach out. So I will, I will say to you, uh, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Although there wasn't anything wrong, the apology felt fake, like someone was forcing him to do it. Even Chris Rock thought that the apology was disingenuine and stupid. In a performance set at London's O2 Arena, he loudly exclaimed, your hostage video right after the video was released. He said, everybody is trying to be a victim. If everybody claims to be a victim, then nobody will hear the real victims. Even me getting smacked by Suge Smith, I went to work the next day. I got kids. 
A question that has kept all of our minds busy since the big day was whether Jada forced Will to slap Chris. We all saw how Will laughed while Jada rolled her eyes at the joke. So what caused the sudden change in Will's reaction? Many strongly believe that it was Jada's piercing and intimidating gaze that caused the scandal. But Will shattered all these thoughts in the apology video. He strongly denied that Jada had anything to do with this when he said, you know, I'm, I made a choice on my own, from my own experiences, from my history with Chris. Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Is that true, or is he playing the part of a doting husband and trying to protect his wife? Even Chris's brother, Tony, thinks that Jada had something to do with his brother getting publicly humiliated. Will's friendship with Tony went way back. Years ago, Tony Brock and Will Smith worked together on the sitcom All of Us, in which Rock was a main cast member. Smith co-created the show with his wife Jada Pickett Smith and served as an executive producer, so it makes sense that he was shocked when his brother was smacked by his friend. While Chris's whole family was devastated by the incident, it seems that Tony took it the hardest. He also admitted that the moment eats him when he watches it because he's watching a loved one being attacked and there's nothing he can do about it. He recently opened up about the incident during an appearance on the Top Villain with Bill Bellamy podcast. When asked if he thinks Smith's lap was a reaction to Chris's joke about Jada having alopecia, Tony said, No, he wasn't embarrassed. He was, if you, everybody saw the footage, he laughed first. So that's not embarrassment. Right. He was laughing. And then in the time they cut to my brother, and cut back, he was already up walking, so maybe it was the Jada look. Tony also has a theory on why Will reacted so violently. He thinks that it all has to do with Jada's relationship with the late Tupac and Will's feelings about it. But I think that I think that slap was the accumulation of him being slapped on other levels. On other levels. He said it himself, he hate he always hated the soft moniker. Right. He's soft. Uh, Jada and keep won't let Tupac die. It's always something about Tupac and right. and his daughter brought up Tupac. And I'm not bringing up family stuff that people don't know. This is stuff that everybody knows. She commonly talks about Tupac, her relationship with Tupac. As a married man to this woman, you're like, damn. Do I, is what I'm doing not Can enough? I live? Yeah. Everyone knows that Jada hasn't been shy about her late friendship with Tupac Shakur over the years. Although she had publicly admitted several times that she was not romantically involved with him, it is clear that she had a soft quarter for him, despite it being ages since he died. It looks like Tony believes that all of this could have fueled Will's rage. Chris's mother was also upset with Will. She had previously done an interview where she said, When Will slapped Chris, he slapped all of us, but he really slapped me. Because when you hurt my child, you hurt me. With a heavy heart, he apologized to the Rock family and said, That was one of the things about that moment. I just didn't realize and, you know, I wasn't thinking, but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize to uh, Chris's family, uh, specifically Tony Rock. You know, we had a great relationship. You know, Tony Rock was my man. Um, and uh, this, this, is, this is probably irreparable. All in all, it does seem like Will regrets his actions. I bet that in the moment, he didn't think that such a small act can have such an enormous impact on his and his family's life. But what do you think? Does Will truly regret ever getting up from his seat and slapping Chris? Or is this just a ploy to fix his reputation and career? And what do you think Chris's next step is? Will he continue touring and joking about the incident? Or will he ever reach a point where he forgives Smith? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.